Hey, how's it going? Diamond here. And today we're looking at Shop GUI Plus. This is another plugin that I kind of try to evade because I've used this plugin so many times and no, it's not bad. It's just great. But the thing is, you will spend most of your time setting up this plugin as you want the best economy for your server. You can use this in survival, skyblock, or anything that truly needs an economy where you can sell or buy stuff so players can actually earn money. I definitely use this way too many times. It's worth it. Trust me on that. And I'm going to show you guys everything you need to know about the plugin right now. Later down the line, I'm going to show you how to create your very own simple and easy. But for now, let's run some simple commands. You can do slash shop and this will show you the entire shop. It can also show your balance here. I have 812 and here we have the different categories, blocks, ores, food, I was going to say chicken, tools, armor, farming, and this is just the default config you get. You can disable this, you can set it up however you want to, but basically what you got to think about here is every single item is just a category. So you aren't forced to make players open this entire category. You can make them open separate categories. So for example, you can see here, if I go into blocks, you can see every single item and we can go to the next page, which you can set up as well. And here they can buy blocks. But if you wanted to set it up for an NPC that is separate, you can just do slash shop. And then for this example, type blocks and it'll open up the category exactly for me easily. Now, if I wanted to, I could open up ores and here we go. Ores is open as well, but let's go back into blocks. And if I want to, I could buy, for example, I could buy grass for 50. That's kind of expensive just by left clicking. So here you can see I'm buying a stack of grass for $50 and then I can confirm. I can cancel and I can remove 10, I can remove one, etc. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I can even click buy more. So this is in stack, so I could buy nine stacks, I could buy one stack, etc. But I'm just gonna buy a stack. And you can see right there, I just bought a stack and my currency was reduced to 762, which is correct. I could also sell, and as you can see here, the sell price is actually lower than the buying price, which is really recommended so players just don't scam you in a way. It's hard to explain. You just don't want your shops to be exploitable. But I can go ahead and right click at this time and now I can actually sell. So I can sell all just by clicking that and I didn't get all the money back, but I got some. That's just the shop GUI itself. We can run some other commands such as if you want to, you could if I had a inventory of grass, which I'll just bladder across here and I could do slash sell, which I have to be in survival, but you can change in the config. So I'll go into survival first and I can do slash sell and then space all. This is going to sell everything in my inventory. I sold 256 items for a total of $20, which seems like a ripoff to me. I'm just saying. But if you want to create events as well, you can add modifiers. So for example, if a player won a voucher on a chest, on a loot chest, or you just did a loot party or something, anything between, it's up to you how you set this up. But you can add modifiers so they can get either 50% off or 50% more if it's bad luck or something to the actual shop. Here's a good example. If I do slash shop and then I can add modifier and for this one i want to do it for the entire shop which is going to be the entire category for example of ores or blocks and i will just do shop and then the player name which would be mine for example and then the shop so ores and then i can add the value the value can be anything from 0 0.1 to 1.0 and this basically means a percentage either of how much more they're going to buy it for or how much less so if i'm putting it to buy i can give them a 0 0.5 which means they're getting it 50 percent off and then i just have to put if they're buying or selling so if they buy anything they get a 0 0.5 off of the entire category however let's say you don't want it to be the entire category you can go back instead of shop we're going to do item and then we're going to do the player and here we can do the category again. So this one will be ores. And then we need to do the item. Now the item, I'm gonna show you how that's set up in a bit, but I'll put a quick example up on the screen right now. And for this one, I'm just gonna put the diamond, which is number six. And then again, I can put it 0.5 off and I can make it buy. So if you're buying a diamond in the category of ores, you get 50% off, but only on diamonds. You can also reset the modifier for the entire shop for the player, and you can even check all the modifiers. Those are simple commands as well. And genuinely, that's all the commands that you have. You can also do slash sell hand, and if you have the item on your hand, of course, it has to be in your hand, and you can put the quantity. So if you had a stack of diamonds, you can only you only want to sell 32 of them. You don't have to separate them. You can just do 32 and it sells only 32 of your diamonds that are in your inventory. Like that, it's super simple. But now let's teach the more harder part that some people might get stuck on. So let's go to the panel, shall we? All right, so here we are on the panel. And if you're looking to get a server, make sure to use Revive Node using the promo code DIAMOND. You get 15% off your very first purchase and it's easy to add plugins and set them up. And you'll see why just in a bit. But here you have everything you're gonna to need to know, such as the config.yml. He can set up the MySQL database or if you are just using it locally, which a lot of people are nowadays, it's just set it up as SQL Lite, which, is, which means it's going to be saved locally and not on a database. 
Uh, you do have the economy type here, so it could be Vault. I'm actually using Essentials because Vault hasn't been updated on their Spigot page. And you can change the shop, the primary shop name. So that would be the shop whenever we do slash shop command and not add a sub shop. Then we have the menu size for the primary one, of course. And then we have some more additional features here. So the ability to sell all, the ability to use the buy GUI, to use the sell GUI and within others. So it's mainly primarily to change whatever you'd like here. And I'm not going to go over a lot of details about it. So this is more up to you. What I'm going to do is actually go more into the shop GUI and then go into shops. And here we have every single separate category. It's really easy to add shops. And I'll show you why right now, because we can go into drops, for example, and here you'll see how it works. This is the category name, so drops. And then you and then here is just a simple thing such as the name of the GUI, the size of the GUI, and if there's a fill item. So black stained glass, that's what you'll see around the entire GUI. This is purely cosmetic and you can't sell it and then you have the item so for this i'm going to create my very own it's going to be relatively quick and all i'm going to do is put two items a stone block and a diamond block well diamond ore so for that i'm just going to go ahead and create a new file and here we're just going to start naming what it's going to be so and for this i'm just going to call it ted and here we're going to go, go ahead and click enter and we're going to backspace out put two spaces at least and i'll put the name and for the name i'm just going to make it in quotes i'll call it ted's shop and you can also add color code if you want. So I'll make it a, if I'm not mistaken, a bluish color. And before that, I'll go ahead underneath. And now I'm going to add the size of it. So for this size, I'm only gonna make it about 27, which is gonna make it three rows. However, I don't, I'm not gonna wanna fill, so I'm going to completely just leave that blank. And then I'm just gonna go underneath and I'm gonna add our first item. So I first need to add, I actually mistyped that, I shouldn't have not added the number first, but you need to add items above and then the numbers below. So items is gonna be the first item we add and I'm going to go underneath and just type, this is gonna be the first item and it is, yes, a type and it's gonna be a type item. Underneath that, I'm going to add the material, which is going to be stone. And you always have to make sure you type it in uppercase because if it's in lowercase, it won't identify it. As I finished recording this video, I noticed that I did type something incorrectly here, but I ended up going back and fixing it. All it was is you need to make sure you add item before you start adding the material. So just quick note, just make sure you add item and you need to add it to every single type before you add a material and a quantity. The rest I'll explain it in a video. So let's get back to it. And now after that, we're gonna go ahead add a quantity. So it's going to be one stone. I'm gonna use this as a placeholder and then I'm just gonna make it by price is going to be 100 and the sell price is going to be 10. Whenever you're setting up your shop, always make sure to verify your prices so you don't get exploited within your own server as a lot of people can find ways to buy one item, make it into another and sell it for a lot more, completely break the shop. So take your time when you're making your own. And now comes the most important part, the slot. So on screen right now, I'm going to add two different GUIs, the one I'm currently using, which is only the 27 and the second one, which is entire GUI, which is about 54 wide. And these are exactly where you put the numbers in. So mine is gonna be slot 12 that I wanted in. And that's gonna be on the second row, three, three cubes, I'm just gonna call it for now, to the right. And just like that, I've added my very first one. I'm actually gonna go ahead and copy this so I can save myself some time here. And I can put a second item, which is just gonna be a Instead of a stone, it's gonna be a diamond, a quantity of one, and this one I want it to be more pricey. I'm just gonna add simple numbers. The sell and the buy price are pr primarily just examples and they are not gonna matter as I'm not putting this on a production server. And then I just want this to be on, on slot 16, which will make it symmetrical from slot 12. After that, I'm gonna click save and here I can actually put the shop's name. So this one will be ted.yml. Go ahead and click create. And as you can see, it's been formatted with the panel and everything looks perfectly fine. Everything's already saved and now we can actually check it out in game. If you guys want to, you can add an add-on called sell GUI, which is a free add-on you can add and basically allows you to open up an inventory and simply just drag and drop the items into that inventory. It's free, it's created by Mac and he updates it regularly. So if you wanna check it out, I'll leave it in the description right under the plugin. But now that we actually set up that config, what we can do here is slash shop, reload, and then we'll do shop Ted. And here we have our configuration. I will state this, you don't need to worry. The images I did post before regarding the GUI names are correct but I did have to fix my own mistake. As this was not 12, it was 11. I don't know why Mojang makes it so difficult to set up numbers in the GUI. I would have just done it from one and so on, but 
you just can't have nice things, can you? Depending on the plugin, it can be different. But for Shop GUI, the images I did post before are correct. No need for you to worry. And then I just had to change for this from 16 to 15, but everything else is just the same. All I did was change the inventory slot number. The name we set up is correct with the color code. And we can also, we could have added color code to the stones, but this is all just examples. But here we go. You can buy stone. We could sell stone. We could buy diamond. If we middle mouse with the button, we can sell all our diamonds that we have in our inventory, but we don't have any. But let's say, for example, if I wanted to buy one stone, I can just click it. I'll put three in my inventory and I can click confirm and just like that I'm $300 more broke if I want to sell it it's only for 10 so I'll actually go into the shop again this time I'll right click it and then I can just sell it all and I'm $30 richer doesn't make it any better because I just lost 300 that's a $260 loss but everything we did in the panel is there it's that simple you guys can add this plugin and start working on it today I highly recommend it. I still use it. It's amazing. But I hope this video was informative. If you guys liked it, make sure to leave a like on the video. If you guys want to see any other type of videos, leave your ideas in the comment section. And if you need any help, make sure to ask for it in the comment section. I don't mind replying. Other than that, hope you guys have an amazing day. And I'm Diamond, and I will see you guys next time. Cheers.